right guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you what one little handheld chainsaw on a battery can do. So now we will grab the new one and then you place this back on, put the cover back on and this is only half of what I actually did while testing this. So I picked up a new power tool today. The chainsaw that I had, the big one, actually broke and then we had to chop down uh, two trees. So we have a lot of dead wood here, you can see. Um, but we still need to cut that down. The only other option is to use a table saw, which we have, but it's just annoying to try and undo it and then every time it rains to redo it. So again, this is where this comes in. So this is a portable chainsaw. It's got two 24 volt batteries. You will get, I wanna say about 15 minutes of cutting time on one of these batteries. And we're talking about cutting through legit wood as you're gonna see very shortly. So this is a 28 inch quarter inch chain. These blades are just as sharp as they would be on any other chainsaw and this guard flips up as much as it needs as you're actually cutting through lumber or timber. They provided you with all the hardware needed to replace this as well as a replacement chain. They also provided you with this little canister for oil, right? So you can squirt it into the chain. Do not use WD-40 guys, just use regular chainsaw oil. Buy it, it's gonna last you a long time. Now, after you use this saw a couple of times you're gonna notice that the chain itself is gonna get a little loose you're gonna see that it's gonna kind of have like this little gap here when that happens you need to tighten it up so it doesn't derail or as you're going through other branches to do that you're gonna take the screwdriver here and then right in there there's a screw that you need to tighten and then clockwise is gonna pull the chain tighter counterclockwise it's gonna release it and it's actually quite easy to change the chain. You take this bolt off, take the plastic off, then this whole assembly is gonna come out. Swap the chain, make sure that the chain link is on the inside of this metal groove all the way around. And then you place this back on, put the cover back on, tighten it to make sure that it's the way you want it. You do not want it over tightened, that's also not good. When you do this, you know that it's nicely tightened and you can't accidentally take it off. All right, so let's put the battery in and let's give it a go. So I have not charged this yet, so we're gonna see if we can clear all that bush. So in terms of quality, blade and the chain is metal, everything else is plastic. This plastic is no different than the one you would find on the, the bigger brands like DeWalt, Milwaukee and whatnot. Uh, 24 volts is actually quite great. So we have all this bush that we need to cut for firewood. So let's go and see how well and how quickly this works. So we're gonna go start on the small one first. So you can see that the guard actually adjusts on its own. So let's go and cut a little piece about here. Let's see how quickly it goes through. So it's a little tricky to do it with one hand. This is laminate flooring. All right, so we're gonna go try cutting this two by four. Pretty nice cut. Let's try do it in this way. Love this little guy. It makes my job a lot easier and more convenient. So whether you're looking to chop some lumber, timber, laminate, really anything you desire, this one too is actually pretty good. I've already cut quite a lot of it. Just for fun, I'm actually gonna go run across this whole thing and see if it actually gets it on one charge. So clearly there's no stopping it. It's still going on the same battery. 
Uh, this is all the bush that I've cut so far. I still have some to go, but this is like a 200% recommended little item. I can figure out so many uses for this particular tool. Before you attempt to take the chain off, make sure there's no battery and then use this to take the bolt off. Then take this off, plastic off, and now this is exposed. Now you wanna make sure that this is wrapped at the bottom and then the teeth or the chain links are inside the groove of this metal piece. So now we will grab the new one and take this one off. So we can just simply take this off and you're gonna notice there's that groove in there that's holding all the teeth in. So that's how simple it is. And then just put this back on and off you go. And then this little square, as you can see, this is what's actually tightening the chain. So now we will grab the new one and then you place this back on, put the cover back on, tighten it to make sure that it's the way you want it. You do not want it over tightened. That's also not good. When you do this, you know that it's nicely tightened and you can't accidentally take it off. All right, so let's put the battery in and let's give it a go. So if you swapped out the chains and you're still having trouble cutting, that's because you put the chain link the wrong way. Note at the very top, these teeth are facing forward, right? So this one is facing forward, that one's facing forward. If you put it on the other way, meaning that these teeth are going backwards on top, you see the difference? then you're not actually gonna get any cut because it's actually gonna go in reverse. So make sure you put on the chain link correctly. So whether you're looking to chop some lumber, timber, laminate, really anything you desire, this one too is actually pretty good.